And now I have no friends. You can play with friends. No, like I don't have friends. I don't have friends either. I How do you feel about not having any friends. Sucks, but I don't feel safe or accepted in any friend group, so. That's really vulnerable of you to say that on camera. My job as a parent is to provide for the needs of my kids, the needs that they cannot meet themselves. Today, and can I bring a lunch over to the school? This happens quite often when you're having raising children um, because I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch. And it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with a lunch. Um, but I, I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. And she actually told me she did pack a lunch. And she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. And hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch. Hopefully nobody gives her food. Hopefully nobody gives her food. Hopefully nobody gives her food. Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. My job as a parent is to provide for the needs of my kids, the needs that they cannot meet themselves. Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. My job as a parent is to provide for the needs of my kids, the needs that they cannot meet themselves. And she actually told me she did pack a lunch. My job as a parent is to provide for the needs of my kids, the needs that they cannot meet themselves. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. When, so in our house, we when we take something away, it's they because they have shown that they are not responsible enough to manage it. And so we don't just turn around and give it back as soon as they start acting good. It has we, to be consistent. It has to be consistent over a minimum, minimum of six months. And that's showing up consistent in every aspect of their life. That's a new rule. That's a new rule. Oh, I just... A minimum of six months. 
Have I ever given ages. something back more than six, less than six months? Um. I thought my phone no. was like a day. My bedroom was taken away for seven months, and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. You <laughs> I'm gonna sleep it on a bean bag since October. <laughs> I'm gonna give my room back like two weeks ago. Oh, I'll give yes. you the reason why I lost my bedroom. I think so. I think this is the reason. At least this is the reason that's been in my head. It's pretty funny, but now that I look back, I mean, it's pretty depressing. No, we never told our viewers. That I woke Russell up at 2 in the morning and told him that we're going to Disneyland and he has to pack. <laughs> and he got up and made his bed all neatly and then packed all his clothes in a suitcase. And then he walked out the door and I'm like, Russell, and he's like, what? And he's all happy. Has his sunglasses on. And I was like, we're not going to Disneyland. And he started crying and hitting me. And then he went back to bed in tears. And then... Uh, so that... Been wearing the same red shirt and skirt to church, to a uh, school for two days in a row, and she slept in it for two days. The family room back out 22 feet. This is directly beneath it, so this wall will also be removed. The kitchen will be removed. It will not be replaced. I refuse to have a kitchen in my basement. My kids are not welcome to come live with me after they're 18. I am very straightforward about that. Let's Sherry take these kids to school. What? Thank you, Sherry, for helping me. I could not have done this morning without you. I'm gonna be bullied about my hair. Like, I mean it. Like, with the pictures and keeping everyone on track. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Oh my gosh. Are we hit? Are we hit? Are they okay? Are they okay? Are you okay? You're okay? I'm okay. Everyone's okay. Russell, it's okay. What happened? It's okay. <laughs> It was 
nobody's fault. The guy in front of me, his tire the blew. Truck? Or the one no, the the, the guy who's now behind me, his tire blew, but he was in front of me. And the red truck was going. I don't know where the red truck was, but it had to veer in, in front and get off. I so it didn't hit. I don't know. I didn't see the red truck. I just know that the blue car had a tire blow and I had to get out of its way. He hits the sign. He took the sign out. Russell? This was my first car crash. And you know what? I want to tell you something and I want you to really listen. We should have been in that crash. 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 There, I don't know how we avoided getting hit, but you know what? There is not a single scratch on our car. There is not one person who got whiplash. And do you know why? It's because we said our prayers this morning. And we tried our best to do what Heavenly Father wanted us to do. And you know what? Nobody's hurt. And I know it's because the Lord is watching out for our family and for others. And we're okay. And we're going to get to school. Mom. Okay. Can we not go right now? I'm going to go ask the police officer if we can go or if he needs us to stay. Because sometimes they like us to stay to be a witness and to take our statements. Are you okay? I thought you went with your brothers and sisters. I didn't know you were still in here. How's my car been on this whole time? I guess you're not a very good driver. I'm a very good driver.
always be careful what you say to your family and friends because you never know when it's going to be the last.